There are hidden gems everywhere on Steam, from barely reviewed masterpieces, to games with cursed potential, to hilariously awkward passion projects so bad they're kind of good, or to be honest, just anything that provides some kind of joy. I gave these five a go, starting with, yes, the thumbnail bait. Already, I've got a good vibe about this, but what I really want to Oh, they've got a tutorial down here. So I can parry with spacebar. Oh, you can scroll in and out. I can see first person. B is to jump. Why is B to jump? Whoa. That's pretty cool. I don't know if there's a way to look on, but parrying is kind of smooth. I, d I don't even take damage. This is full on tutorial. I guess I'm, I'm out of here then. Barry. I'm not digging this hairstyle, man. Okay, so this is a roguelite, so I'm assuming I just explore until I find some shit and see how far I can go. So I, I have no idea how to... How do I even unlock this? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Wow, I should not be getting jump scared already. Oh, okay, there it is. There it is. Okay. Fuck. What do I do? Okay, I, I don't really know what to do, but I died and I got an achievement for it. How do I open this? Give me give me an option to- Oh, it's F. It's F to open. Okay. I got a helmet now. There he is. He's right there. I'm getting the fuck out of here, man. Sorry, dude. You have to get out of here. Lost your head? I don't care. Come on. Got him. Almost. He's taunting me now. Oh, man. Do you know what? I, I could have parried that foot, but I was too slow. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Just kill them all. Kill them all for me, please. Oh, fuck. What have I done? Oh, he's here. Yeah, look, look. He's just smacking them all out of the way. This is great. Oh, come on. Let me get to the next area. I, I want to see what this is. I've got to see it, man. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. What a glorious sight to see. That was a bad idea. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going in the river. That's it. I'm gone. What a beautiful game. This game has so much character, man. Oh, look. It's Barry V, the hero of the labyrinth. Sorry, I needed to laugh. Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. I'm getting slagged off here by Aphrodite. Nice. So I've got that, which is good. So that means I can technically smell the Minotaur. Oh, he's nearby. He's got my scent. Oh, so he's there. Okay, so I can actually see him. That's such a good skill. What is that? Oh, Helmet of Hermes. And that's it. I've just woken this guy up. I can run. Oh, my. I can run. Well, it was short-lived, but it was fun. I've got to say, I've not played a roguelite this good. In a Look at the dump truck on that guy. Look at his ass, man. That is massive. This is the thing I love the most about any kind of roguelite. It's just di weapons that do different things, that like have different special abilities. It makes it so worth exploring. Ah, oh, you can permanently increase your, your movement speed. That's good. I don't know where to go, man. Look at this maze. This is crazy. <gasps> Wait a minute. Can I just jump? Whoa! Can I just jump across? Oh! Oh no! Drop of nectar. Heal 50 points of health instantly. That's gonna be useful. Don't actually know how to use that though, but I'll figure it out later. Oh, I've got a feeling that this might actually be the Minotaur's maze. I've got a bad feeling about this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh god, I'm... This is literally it, isn't it? This is it. This is the end. I can dash. There's got to be like a, a moment where he just stops chasing you. Please, please, please. This looks beautiful. This place looks amazing. I really need to take in the scenery before I die. Hey, there she is. Okay, so I can get speed two, which I might do. I know, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. It's going to be risky as hell, but I've got to do it. The reason why I'm skipping some things is because I know way too well that sometimes it's good just not to hang around. You gotta fucking just keep going. Maybe take a detour like this, but ooh, that's about it. 
Because if you like, I've just seen him. I'm going. I'm gone. Yeah, that's probably better than this one, right? Oh, it's just a kick. It's a Spartan sword. Oh, shit. Whoa, that's sick. You can just kick him. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm so fast. Yes, got them both. Okay, right, what do I want to buy? Fuck it, should I go even faster? I think I should go faster, but I feel like if I if I increase my strength, that would be pretty good. But I, nah, I'm going full speed, man. Screw it, we're going Sonic mode on this. I wonder if I can uh, just uh, like outrun archers or arrows. No! Oh, dude, I was doing so good and I got greedy. What's the orb? What does it do? What does it do? What does it do? I don't know. It's money, I think. That's, I have no idea what that is. That's a Gorgon. It's a Gorgon. It turned me to stone. Shit. Yeah, I think if you look at it, it will turn you to stone. Oh, no. It just shoots stuff at you. Don't turn me to stone. Don't. Oh, it's... Come on. Let me... Look. No! There's a lot of projectiles. I don't really have protection against protector. And I just got kicked off the edge. Man let me stutter, and I got kicked in half. This was a great example of a hidden gem. It's a game that I would only ever find searching the depths of Steam. I have a soft spot for retro aesthetics, and this game does a good job of that while making each section of the level feel unique. It's punishing as hell, but the promise of buffing up stats to insane levels is always exciting in roguelikes like this. And the constant threat of the Minotaur gives me flashbacks to Steve from Noiter. If you know, you know. There's also so much more gear to find than you saw in this video, and the dev even allows you to test them all out in the tutorial, which I did once I figured out that F is to interact. The one thing that I was going to complain about were the default keybinds and the lack of rebinding them. Pressing B to jump was a bit awkward, but as of making this video, they've already patched that. In fact, they seem to be quite on it with the updates, which is always a really good sign. Now, maybe I need to play more of it, but I can't think of anything wrong with this game. It's solid as hell and genuinely fun to play. So that being said, good job. All right, so already you can you can make your goblin. Nice. Already it's a bit weird third person, but um, hopefully I can change something about this. I, I I don't know though. Break the camera in front of you. Oh, I've got a, but how how I've got nothing to fire with. You didn't give me anything. Oh wait a minute, you've got to do this. You've got to aim and then press E. So that's how it works. And now I can just nice first enemy. Okay. Got one. And it's got a ragdoll. So you gotta actually aim it up a little bit. That's, that's that's cool. I appreciate that. There's some skill involved. If you're hearing audio pops, I've just figured out it's coming from the game. It's not your headphones. It, it, it's none of your tech. It's just coming from the game. Sacrifice Sanctum. Ooh. Yeah, right in the head. I can see this uh, red wire. I'm guessing that's a puzzle, right? Only use if absolutely necessary, and if only you are a tier four employee or higher. All right, cool, so you can kind of like heal from the wall then. Very half-life. Oh, I can pick up, wait, 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 hold on. So you're telling me this, I can pick up a gun to slingshot it. Oh, press E to level up. I thought that was like to go to another level, but you can level up here. Nice. <laughs> Killed him with a gun. Oh. Yeah, okay, there is something to this. It is fun. All right, I, I, I wasn't expecting this to turn into a horror game. Not gonna lie. Uh, it is, the, I don't want to go down there. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, I killed it. Is it actually dead though? I, I don't know. My brothers, I will avenge you. I'll avenge you all. Oh, big ass tree. Yes, it is, but I... I, I I'm more concerned about that. Oh, I got it. Is it, <laughs> is it dead? I, I think it's dead. It's definitely, yeah, definitely dead. Here we go. Okay, so if I press this, I've got access to the spawn. That's nice. So we got a shortcut, that's good. What would you like to understand? I can pray. Enter what you'd like to understand. So I can actually type whatever. The meaning of goblin. I have no knowledge of this subject. How are you 
today. What am I? <laughs> no, no knowledge on this subject. Is this broken? Is this meant to work? Do I have to ask it a specific question? I don't even know, but we'll have to see. What is this? There's a robot over there. Ah. Uh... Oh! Oh, God! Oh, that's not good. I killed it. Oh, my God. There's another one. I don't know how I'm alive, but I'm doing it. What is that? It's a Robovac. Can it kill me? Does it do damage? No, it doesn't. Nice. Ah, oh, there we go, finally. We can level up slingshot capacity. Okay, so each of these do different things. I upgrade this a whole bunch of times. I'm gonna need that. There's a, uh, there's a toad. Oh. Rebuilt tower. Can I? I can pick these up. Nice! I got spears now. <laughs> I guess that works. Well, it sticks into him as well. Okay, this is where the camera gets like a little bit weird because I'm very smushed up right now and... I don't know, it, it's not 100% bad, it's just like... It's just awkward. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, look at this guy! Messed up physics will never get old. Press E to start generator. Turns on elevator. There we go. I've done it. So I got the elevators now. I made it. Where am I? Tomb shipping. I always feel like something's gonna get me from around the corner. Like I feel like there's gonna be some nasty placement of enemies nearby. I mean that thing seems harmless, but what the hell is in that? Oh! It's that. It's that thing. I can't seem to get a hit on this guy, and I've got like a- I've got stuff stuck in my head. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? He disappeared. Oh, it's up there. I'm dead. I really hope these guys- these little guys despawn the moment I kill this. There's, there's way too many balls going on at the moment. Whoa! Right, a couple more hits and it's dead. Hey, I killed it. But, but all the bulls are still here. God damn, man. That is... That's a lot to deal with. It's like some kind of aircraft. Oh. Am I going somewhere new? Back to main menu. Was that it? That was it? I'm just going to say it, man. I want more. I had a decent amount of fun with this game, and it does have potential but it's so short-lived. I'm unapologetically a fanboy for ragdoll physics. Combine that with some skill-based bonks, and you've got yourself a fun combat system. This game was clearly meant to be a bit of a meme, but you can even see in the level design, as basic as it is, some thought was put into it. And to be honest, I just wanted to see more of the world and know what the hell all of this was. I think if you fix the camera, add some more settings, more content, even more boss fights, maybe some interactive secrets, I would definitely give it another go. But that being said, so far, it's all right. I've got a feeling this is like the cyberpunk we have at home. Whoa. Avium ain't perfect, but when's the last time you could say your city represented an entire planet? And is that so wrong? You can actually see the window in the recording, man. This is the second cutscene, by the way, and it's showing some gameplay right now. It's kind of weird. I, I feel like I'm watching a trailer for a game I, I've just bought and I'm about to play. Something follows us. A darkness. A red death. It's a pretty cool concept. Uh, the whole something's after you and that is clipping in with that. I'm starting to feel like this is a parody on AAA games that are more cutscene than gameplay right about now. It's about five minutes in and I, I've still not played the game. And his choice will decide our fate. It's just a pair of legs. No way. It's another, like, <laughs> this can't be another cutscene, man. Come on. It is. 
I get it, I get it. You, you spent money on some assets, uh, some cool robot assets, and you want to show them off. But can I please play the game? All right, cool. So we can actually play the game. Uh, there's story mode and free mode, so I guess we just try out the story. Oh, oh, it's, it's another cutscene. I'm actually blown away. It feels like some kind of intro to an early 2000s superhero film. Previously, hey, another cutscene. All right, come on, man. What's going to happen now? Uh, let me guess. This is not the last cutscene, is it? Oh. Do I actually get to play the game now? I have five XP appeared on screen. You asked for blue and black. I asked for black and blue. That's the same thing. No, Jake. See, I said black and blue. Meaning black is primary and blue is secondary. Dude, I thought... Because you're obsessed with water. I'm not. I'm not. not. I do. <laughs> Apparently, if you'd reverse them, it'd be halfway decent at least. What is this? What? Why are they? They're near some kind of tomb asset now. There's like a massive. There's a mech. There's like game actual gameplay going on. And I've not even touched my keyboard. Use this. I'm freaking out, man. Like this. Can I actually play the game now? No, <laughs> no, it's just gameplay. <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's nearly 16 minutes of recording, and I've not even played the game once. You're very brave. We're a young boy. This is already really weird, man. I, I have no idea what's going on. I don't like it. I just want to play the game. Yes, you can. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> they just killed a kid! Uh, why? I've, <laughs> I've already seen the epic shots of like the suit, man. You don't need to take me for it again. Yo, droid! Diesel! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Bro, bro, bro. Did you get it? <laughs> I got it. Bro! You made this? When do you have time, dude? I find it, man. For my bro. Dude. Lasagna. You're weird. You're weird. What the fuck? They paid somebody to uh, read this, by the way. I'm pretty damn sure that's the case. Good luck, dude. You're gonna need it. Alright, dude. Can I play the game? <laughs> that guy. Is this a cutscene? No. No, it's not. I can, I can actually play the game. There's a revolver. I'm gonna press E. There we go. These are the actions and can I shoot revolver? Yes, I can. Cool. All right, here's my first attempt at stealth. E. Whoa! What the fuck? Okay. Nice one. This quite literally is the anthem we don't have at home. I can't believe I'm saying that, man. We finally found it. Cool, so I can dash. It's nice. And I got an alt vision. I think it slows down time. Okay, so I figured out the turrets, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, man, they're pretty cool. So apparently I can change character. I've just changed to Valkyrie. Sounds com exactly the same. Okay, first bit of actual combat. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Okay, so you can lock onto things and just kind of nuke them. Easy. Easy enough. This isn't even the anthem we don't have at home. This is the anthem that was never released. Time of completion, three minutes. In the end, it doesn't matter if you kill or don't. You think me a vile bastard for slaughtering those 34 women. Let go of the struggle and you can save another 34 from violent death. That's never gonna happen. Not even after I murder Sarah. I swear to God, this is peak AAA. You touch her and you'll be my first kill. Whoa! Where's my weapon? Right, I'm going to just use this. I think this is the only thing that's going to save me right now. As these gorgeous eyes. Right, okay, I've shut them up. Thank God. A bit over the top on the right in there, buddy. He's not going to say Diesel it. Who? 
These old nuts about to be teabagging your whole crew. Up yours, pal. I can't believe it. Oh, shit. Um, knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? What, that was it? Can I get through the door? This is this is actually glass, isn't it? Yeah. How do I actually open the door? Oh, oh, okay. So there's good. Like, yeah, there's a code then. I've got to find a code for it. Fifteen. Door one fifteen. Okay. Is that it? How do I open? Oh, E. Okay. They've got lockpick mechanics as well. That's that's pretty cool. There we go. Oh, I can I can turn on I can go invisible. Look at that. It works. It actually works. That must mean then, technically, yeah. I can just break his neck. He knows where I am. He's he doesn't want to admit it, but he knows where I am. He just doesn't want to shoot. He's not he doesn't have the confidence. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna assassinate this guy. I just did some kind of force kill on him. Cool. Whoa! He's right behind me! Never mind. <laughs> All right then. Man, ain't no chocos up in this bitch. Brother got to get him some chocolate. Lieutenant. <laughs> no way, man. Welcome back. No fucking way. What have you got? I don't know how Look this game now. keeps topping itself, Status. but it does. Two patrols on high alert. Haven't seen them blink since I've been back. I put the fear of God in them. I put when the fear of God in them. Oh, you're here for Captain Roxy. Ha, she's way out of your league, buddy. Believe me, I've tried. Here we go, Roxy in the shadows. An outcast took our LAV and reprogrammed it with Brittany. We need that son of a bitch dead before he brings it to Gamma. Can I count on you, vigilante? I just killed her. Heroes don't kill. Okay. Well, so I can't do I can't I can't beat the game then. I've just I've just killed her. So I can't can I can I not beat the game? What's gonna happen? Oh <laughs> no way! <laughs> What is it? Is, is this real? There's a guy praying at me now. There's a guy just in a, stuck in a seat position, just follow me. This game is not real, man. There's nothing real about it. You can change your entrance. Uh, look, here's a fire one. Look at that. Anger management side quest complete, apparently. Lightning. Earth. Ice. There's even ice. I will say something. As goofy as this game is, and with all the cutscenes, you can see that they actually try to put some sort of effort into this. And now, anyway, I'm going to try and slam this guy with some, uh, some earth. Ah, oh, I actually did some damage. I do apologize for any sensitive viewers. He's dead. He's dead. He's gone. God damn it, Jake. <laughs> you just couldn't kill Hazmat, could you? Yuri, what is this? What have you done? You're not really Gary, are you? Oh, the accent? <laughs> I've had practice. About 98 years of practice as Geyser. But I am the real Gary. They were so busy hating my public views on traditionalism, hating whatever the media told them to hate, that they couldn't see what I was actually doing to them. Assimilation in action. I'm messing under my banner. The banner of my father, until I would own their collective thoughts and beliefs. Don't mind the mess. I'll have my queen, Hella Morcon, clean it up. Her name is Sarah, and she's not doing anything for you. Oh, Pharaoh. We're going to have 10,000 years to get to know each other better. Might not want to start on a sour note. I've been told I can hold a grudge for a millennia. Is he done? I think he's done. And they're gone. Okay. And I can just see some guy's face. Okay, I'm about to die. But hopefully... Okay. If I just get up here... Oh, respawning. So you can't fly away. But there we go. <laughs> He's stuck on the spot and I can just laser him. Easy. Yeah, okay, what, what next? You're not going anywhere. What? No, no, no! Oh man, I was gonna grab that. 
Now I'm in Drax's Hellgrave, so there's another boss now. And I've seen this from the Shaitan. No way. Stuck in first person view for the cutscene as well. It's just. Oh, 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 no, no. I could just turn it on and off if I wanted to. Well, there he is. Found him. Right, can I kill it like this? Nice and easy. Yeah. I think it's dead. Nice one. Do I have something else to kill now? Like another boss? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, there's another one. Chernobyl's Hell Tower. Look at it. <laughs> Look at its face. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can just I can just do this and I, I, it just started me here. I didn't have to move It's just a bright screen right now and that's it. Is this really how the fights gonna go? Like I just kind of fly around them I, I guess that's probably not the case right? I'm supposed to run up and then role play that I'm fighting them. But I could just do this Right, is there another one? Are we just kind of getting all the boss parts out of the way? Yeah, I think we're doing it. Sarah. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. That scared the crap out of me, man. I was wondering why she was moving and she got right up in my face. I think this is like the coolest thing you can do is just slow down time and just spam the rockets. She dead? Oh, she's dead. There we go. Killed Sarah, finally. What, all of them? What, all of them? No way! <laughs> what, and I'm respawning? I get it, I get it, right? I get it, I cheese the other ones, but this is just nuts. All right, only two left. Oh, dude, he actually recharges his health. I was wondering what the hell was going on there. Fuck okay, it, I'm gonna try this. Blades of Thesis. Is any good? Oh, shit! I did not know I had that. I think I might just be able to kill this guy if I can recharge that fast enough. Yes! My god, man. I, I held my breath for that. I had to hold my breath for that. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. What the, what the hell is going on, man? My mortal name no longer carries meaning at my age. Dark energy and dark matter are my hands. Reality is my program. I am known as darkness. What's going on? What's going on? Red death. What am I doing? Oh, there's more dialogue below. Come on, come on, take me to the next bit, take me to the next bit. Now I'm in the Neverworld again. I'm under the map, which is probably not supposed to happen, right? You're expected to read all this, by the way. Look, I'm, I'm at this star. I'm just chilling out on this star right now, and it won't kill me. I want this to end. I, I want this whole dialogue to end. All right, so now I'm going into a black hole. Uh, hopefully this will end everything. Bro, I'm actually going into a black hole. This is giving me the creeps. I, I hate this kind of stuff. I now bid you to leave gamer who are you talking about i'm no gamer i'm a vigilante you do not know who is controlling you jake but they know of the gaming references that are were hidden or inexplicable jesus christ i'm just gonna say i've never been so like that is the, the greatest fourth wall break i've ever seen if you couldn't tell, this is one of those games that are, it's so bad, it's kind of good. It's one of those hidden gems in a B-movie kind of way. The experience wasn't that great, but you'll remember it. You can see a lot of effort's gone into this, but clearly more of it went into the countless cutscenes and dialogue dumps. This was four hours of footage heavily cut down. To show all dialogue and cutscenes would make this section about an hour and a half long. There were quite a few points where I wasn't too sure if the dev wanted to make a movie or a game. The gameplay itself, although not solid was actually fun. From the flying to the war gear abilities to the shoulder turret and the many projectiles that came with it. It is fun but there isn't that much of it to go around. Now that being said there is additional content as well as a free to play mode so there is a game to actually play. All memes aside the devs intent is positive. It's clear they want to give you more. And you know what man I'm gonna say it. I had more fun playing this than I did with Anthem. Can you hear me? Oh, I yeah, can't aim. I'm ready. The 
What's going on? You are approaching the target building. Your mission is to assess Dr. Kyle's computer from GMET's building and recover the data. It's Roger it's, that. it's AI voice. <laughs> uh, right, I can jump and everything, which is great, but I can't seem to aim. Is this meant to be played with controller? I'm just gonna have to double check this. Yeah, you definitely need a controller for this game. What's that? T for grenade. How do I pick stuff up with a controller? Uh, Y? No, that's that's to change weapon. Okay, it's X to pick up things. Nice, it's silenced. They got ragdoll physics. Uh, flashlight, do I have one? That's a grenade. Oh, I've got night vision. I think I can find my way to the building from here. Whoa. Whoa! Okay, I did not realize there were things behind me. It, it's really slow to aim just right here for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Like, th this is how fast I can look around. There's not really a, any option to how far you can throw it. You just kind of lob it like this. A weak little throw. And they, they're they not alerted by it either. It's just like, ah, oh, okay. Whatever. Alright, they're all coming for me now. It's pretty cool. Shit, am I going to die? Oh, God. Alright. That, that, that is uh, that's a lot of them. Did I kill them all? Holy... Oh, I've got to see the mess. Wow. I found the entrance to the building, but the fucking door's closed. Yes, these are shielded doors. <laughs> Electricity is required to open them. Find fuel can. Okay. Oh, that's it. But I think I need more than just this, right? All right, that's just half. I need to get more. <laughs> Sounds so weird. For some reason, I can't reload. Don't know why. So that's another thing that's kind of broken, I guess. Oh. Oh. Um. Just, uh. So they've definitely got physics down to an absolute T. Whoa! Holy shit! There we go. I did the animation twice. In the building. Oh. Okay, this grenade's gonna save me because everything's so bugged right now. I love how they do nothing. You know what? I'm starting to feel like I don't really need anything besides just my uh, my melee because I'm kind of exploding them with this. Oh, what? I can't go up here? But there's stuff up there, man. I want to get it. I'm starting to see the cracks. I'm starting to see a lot of cracks. Okay, so the door's now closed. So I'm kind of stuck in here. What, what do I got to do? What do I need to do? And I can kind of... My gun just goes through the wall. Right, there's either an objective I've not found yet, or... I don't know. Do you know what? I'm going to give this game the benefit of the doubt. I'm, I'm just going to restart mission. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Wait, where am I restarting from? What, here? This checkpoint. Okay, the moment of truth. God damn it, man. Doesn't even kill me. My god. Alright, can, I can move around. Oh, I can aim now. Alright, so now I can aim. Alright, never mind. I can get over. But yeah, the stairs here are just really weird. Like, this is just some odd quality control. Lack of, should I say. You can kind of peek through walls. And if that means I can kill a zombie through a wall, that might be quite a fun little exploit to have. So let's uh, see if I can do that. I can. I can kill zombies through the wall. This is great. Look at it. Did you think I was like your ex? Let's be serious. Don't talk too much and move on. Love the way that woman speaks. Oh, key card. Need a key card. What? Find the right key card. Is it this guy with the the, the funny face? It's got to be. Fuck, not this. God damn, of course it wasn't. Finally. There we go. This is interesting. Found a shotgun. Yes, I'm using that. Oh, okay. I think there's a toxic gas leak here. We need to activate ventilation, Max. Find the control <laughs> panel and activate the ventilation. Here we go. Switcher. 
Whoa! This thing packs a punch. <laughs> yeah, this thing's great. I love it. Whatever the dev does, right, no matter how far they take this game, please, at least just, like, keep a mode where I can just have this shotgun the way it is. It is perfect. And the physics, top tier right now. Look at that. It's amazing. All right, so I may have found a way to... Whoa! I thought that would work. To stop the zombies. Whoa! Okay, zombies can still get me. You know, the zombies are so bugged out that, like, I can't really bug myself into a corner because <laughs> they'll, um... They'll still get me <laughs> somehow. But this is great. This is how many zombies the dev just throws at you, by the way. It's just, it's crazy. There's so many. Oh, finally. There we go. That was too many. That was way too many. Like, give me less zombies and give me less ammo. I think that would be a little bit more reasonable. Hang on. I guess there's no gas in this car. Right, so it's another one of those objectives where I need to find gas canisters, and this time I need to fill up a car. Here we go again, killing a whole bunch of zombies with messed up physics. You gotta love it. Whoa! That was the biggest one yet. Alright, so here's the situation. They'll keep on spawning until I fuel up this car, but I have no idea how many canisters I need to do that. I'm just gonna get them all over here. Look at that, so many! Let's go over here now. Press T to fill this up, and I'm dead. Get out of here, man. I'm trying to get into my car. Yes, I did it. Hell, you fucking asshole. hell yeah. I wouldn't go so far to say that this is a hidden gem, at least just yet. Maybe it's too early to say with it being early access, but I did have a lot of fun with the physics and launching zombies with this shotgun. But of course, that is having fun for all the wrong reasons. Now, I didn't have the highest of hopes going into this, but there is something here, and trust me, I've played way worse zombie survival games. All I can say for now is that I hope they stick to it, don't get burnt out, or lose hope. This game does have the opportunity to turn into something pretty cool, but as with any early access, the question is when and if. I've got a feeling it's one of those games. Alright, so we're going to my brother's house to see why he's disappeared, and apparently there are terrorists. Oh. Okay. I think the game wants me to go to the house, but I can already see right now, it's very dark, but I can already see, yeah. Yeah, there's the edge of the map. Okay. Is there parkour? There is! Hang on. There is! Yeah! And get up on top. Nice. Okay. Can open doors. Whoa! I can turn the lights on. Nice. Can I, I can actually see stuff. Hey, look at that! I got a flashlight. How do I use it? One, two, three, four. Four! Okay, it's four. So... Oh, okay. Well, I was going to say my main worry is finding, um, if this is one of those games where I'm going to have to find keys, and I think it is. And if it's using the asset packs that I think it's using, then they're going to be very small. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that? Right there. That's what i got to look for. Small keys. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, God, I almost ripped my fucking headphones off. Jesus Christ, man. Was that it? Was that the jump scare? There we go, that's another key. I'm gonna get jump scared in here. Can look inside, it's the, it's the bathroom. It's the ensuite. We can open this, apparently, but hang on. Hang on. In theory, I can look inside. I can look inside. I picked up the key. I've got a basement key. And I've just picked up a black candle as well, just from looking inside here. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to do that. Is there anything? Ah, there's another key. I, I can get that. I know I can get that. Oh shit, there's another one. <laughs> I just opened up the drawer. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Got it. Reza's room key. A key is a device that is used to operate a lock. Wow. I didn't know that. Any jump scares? Okay, so I got quad camera batteries, and that looks kind of like a camera, is it? No lighter. Oh, okay. We've got some Outlast gameplay going on now. 
Yeah, there's nothing scary about this. I can't even read this. Hang on, can I turn the camera off? <laughs> the fuck is that? Okay, I can't move. <laughs> Ooh! The f- oh, What's happening? I'm through the wall. <laughs> Yo, man, okay. You might be wondering why everything's quite light right now, but I think I may have just found a bit of an exploit. Check this out. If I click in and then click again, I'm sort of like bleaching the screen. Is there anything around here that I need? Any that might be something I need. Five sacred books. One, six, smudge, seven, three. And I, I'm guessing the smudges are two, right? Open this. There's a key. Draw key added. Is it for this? Might be. God, it's so bleached. I do apologize. I completely messed up this game. Oh, yeah, I, I can barely see that key. But I got it. Upstairs toilet key. Alright, that might be the ensuite then. Right, that's probably a puzzle, isn't it? So, one, six... I'm assuming two, seven, and three. Let's try that. Two, seven, and three. That unlocks something. It unlocked this. The demon seal added. Cabinet key. And what's this? Code. Five, nine, four, six. A code for what? We'll have to find out. What's going to happen? I've got this. Well, I picked up the candle, so I'm going- I'm getting the fuck out of here. Well, that's welcoming. Desert Viper. So I can actually- Okay, this game has shooting. It's very blurry, but this game has shooting. Nice. Now what? Get out of- Whoa! Okay. He's doing something, man. He's choking me out. <laughs> Does this do anything? I'm getting choked. I'm getting choked through the wall. Okay, that worked. Is it gone? Oh. Very short-lived demon experience. Whoa! Bit of a weird transition, not gonna lie. That's oh, my brother. Take my weapons, all of them, in that room. You have to go through the maze. What? Here? Can I open this? So, even in hell... You can just kind of, you know, you can order some tables, put your stuff up. I uh, just kind of make a little chill room for yourself. That's cool. Oh, look at that. It's a zombie. Whoa! Guy's just stuck through the wall. I've got to say, man, the immersion is great in this game. <laughs> it just pings out of the wall. It's, it's amazing. Okay, third person seems to be a little bit better, just for knowing what's going to sneak up on you. Two? Oh. Yeah, kill two at the same time. Nice. Got a collat. Ooh! Quick, 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 quick! Is he dead? Is he gone? Ooh, he's right in front of me! Is he gone? Music's gone. Yeah. Okay. I don't think you can kill that guy. Thank God they have meds in this game. But <laughs> that's the weirdest... Weirdest noise I've heard for taking meds. Yeah, the spawning in is, is definitely not working out in this game. Whoa! So there is some climbing in this, which, um, I've, I mean, we've all seen it before. It's not anything groundbreaking, but it, it change, <coughs> changes things up. <coughs> Why am I dying? <laughs> okay, so there's this over here, but there is water. And I did see in the trailer that there was a... Yeah, there's a swimming mechanic. It's already kind of going crazy. I really hope 
I don't get chased and I don't have to swim away from my life because that would be kind of annoying. It's really not a far way to swim. It just feels like they threw this in just because they had the mechanic and paid for it maybe and just, there you go. It, it's just another thing to do. Wow, look at that. There's more swimming. Cool. Wait a minute. Is this it? Wow, that was very creative. Right. A clue added. How am I gonna read a clue in this situation? Give me the give me the gear. Four lights. Six lights take you from your world to mine instead of four lights here. Wait, what? Where's he gone? Oh! Oh! Maybe. Yes! Okay. I can I can turn the lights on. Let me get that. Get that. No! Oh. Okay, I'm assassinating that guy. Never mind. Got it. What happens? Oh, I can get up. I can get up here. This is so weird in first person. Let me get up. Okay. I think that's what you're meant to do. I'm sliding down. Don't know, man. Is that it? Done it. Guna, where have you been? You've been missing for a week. One week? Impossible. Forget it. I need help. Please find out the person related to my brother. His name is Kodrat. It takes time. Please, this is important. Let me know if you have found that person. I'm in a situation now where I think I'm going the right way, and I feel like this is just a very crudely put together path. Uh, a lot of stretched terrain. Oh, okay. There's a guy up there with what appears to be some Sims icon above his head. Stealth kill. Let me guess. Let me guess. Yeah. Doesn't tell you how to do it. I've done it before. You just got behind him and there you go. Silent kill. Hey, he's got a, uh, he's got his gun. Whoa. One hell of a cutscene. I'm guessing that's where I need to go then. All right, already I've got a uh, assault rifle. Whoa, okay. Alarm's already gone off. It's not really reacting. Dead. Oh, demons. I feel like this is going to be one of those annoying situations where things just keep spawning on you until you figure it out, right? Whoa. Pick up a silenced pistol. That's nice. All right, so that's a red card. ID card. And I think I know where to put that. Anything in here? Cool, I found a key. Nice, another key. Yeah, okay. I turn that. I'm gonna open that. Okay. Right, there's gonna be a boss fight or something. Get a car in the building. Alright, so, uh, car park. I, I assume this is where I find the car, right? There's the car. In a wide open space. I wonder what's gonna happen. Anything? Is anything going to stop me? Let me guess, there's going to be a cutscene, right? Right. Was that it? Am I going to, like, what, what's happening? Is this the end of the level? Yes. Who is this? I am waiting for you. Yeah, that was it. That was the end of the game. You'll find in these types of videos that goofy physics is a very common theme, but besides the funny demons flinging up into the air, there wasn't really that much to this game, at least gameplay-wise. But for what appears to be a first-time dev's attempt at horror, it's not terrible. Just felt a bit rushed, especially towards the end, with very easy-to-achieve steps leading to a to-be-continued cutscene. What I look for the most in low-budget indie games is intent and effort. The intent to make something good was there, but some things were thrown in in just because. Like for example the two very short swimming sections and straightforward climbing that didn't really add much. But with that being said, I'll be around for part two. Thank you very much for watching, and thank you to my lovely supporters both on here and Patreon, who helped to fund my dumpster diving habits. And of course, a personal shout out to you Wicked Slayers and Cyber Wizards 
on Patreon. Gibbles by the Dozen, The Cuddly Bot, Negadan, The One with Severed Toes, Abby, The Meatly, Basto, Lynn Kerr, Spooky, Rizal Bugatti, Distant Reality, Arcadius, Adam, Times Twice, Chris Blaga, Scotch Steaks, Big Ram, Grimber, Borky, Ninja Cat, Ederick, and the consumer of all fish.